Okay, we're doing a Roku Express unboxing now. Now, I bought this for 20 bucks. Now, why did I buy this when I have already have two Fire Sticks and another three Roku Sticks? Well, first of all, I've had a lot more luck with Roku than anything else. With this, I have connected to my PlayStation TV in my room as a secondary TV if I want to watch like two dumb two sports at the same time. What all split screens are pain in the ass. I'd rather have them on separate televisions. Um, this works better than the um, t Fire Stick Lite. It just boots up fast and it doesn't lag as much. The Fire Stick, the lowest edition of the Fire Stick, yeah, I called it the Fire Stick Lite or whatever the one that is um, the cheapest. I bought that one for $20 too. Now, this does not look like the other Express one I have. It has a whole new design to it. But, um, let's just say I don't really care if it has a new design. Um, if we open it up here, if I'm going to show people what it looks like. The other one is, if you saw it up there, it's up, it's up there somewhere on top of there. Um, all it is is this. That's all the unit is. That's really, you like... You say to yourself, how in the hell can you operate something like this, but whatever. Comes with an HDMI cable, we aren't going to need this, but I, I'll i keep it. Because I'm going to bring this to someone's house so we can watch basketball and on hockey and stuff. And if this boots up a lot faster, I won't have any problems with it. Here's the USB cable to um power the device. I don't think I'll even need this either. I can just use the one that's hooked up already. Hey, this is working out pretty good. The remote control, now the remote controls have been updated too. A lot of them didn't, sh what's it called, had HBO Max on them. This one doesn't. It doesn't have um, voice control either because it's the $20 Roku box. It's not the big expensive one that everyone talks about. Comes with a battery. Oh, Roku even makes it, no, it's not a Roku battery. Two, looks like two AAAs. Yeah, I don't know. They're not a real brand. The brand name is Tenergy, and it's purple. So maybe it's like Roku making their own batteries. I have no clue. But, um, you open this up. Take that out. Um, this, really, this is like too small. You're more likely to use, lose the unit than you are the remote control. That's crazy. Um, usually there are both batteries have to go a different way. They go both the same way with the positive on the top and negative on the bottom. All right, the batteries are in. So, this is that, what the unit looks like again. You have HDMI in the back, you got the plug, and then you got, I believe that's the reset button over there if you wanted to reset the unit. And the front is just the sensor for the remote control. So, since I told you we don't, we don't need those wires, I'm just going to... Yeah, we don't need the wires. We can just connect the wires I already have installed into this because they're all the same stuff. In cables and inside whatnot. Okay, it's already booting up there. We're gonna um, turn it on the TV and see if we get a response. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to show you the pro setup process because um, you'll see my information, but you'll tell it's just gonna boot up. Okay, English. I wish you didn't have to use an account and all that, but whatever. All right, it tells you um, all the different networks you can connect to. So that's about it. What can I say except bye-bye.